Hey, what's up? It's Snow. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting South Australia's mournful congregation, the Incubus of Karma on Osmos and 20 bucks spin. I kind of am at a loss for words of how good this album is. I need a lot more time with it. It's absolutely probably their best material. And I know that's saying a lot as Mournful Congregation has never put out a stinker. This is fucking so good. I just, just, just wait for the fucking review. I'm taking my time with it just because I didn't even listen to the, the pre-songs like when I pre-ordered it, I was like, I'm just waiting for it to arrive. So when this just showed up unexpected yesterday, I was, oh my God. Last night before bed, I spun this twice. And just, oh my God, amazing, amazing stuff. I can't recommend this enough. If you're a fan of Doom, Funeral Doom, just awesome fucking music in general. Get into some Mournful Congregation. This is some gorgeous, crushing, awesome doom metal. So fucking sick. Australia's Mournful Congregation also has Where Goats Tim Cole on drums. And yeah, he just kills it on this record. It's so fucking good. And speaking of Tim, actually, his record label put out this next band's release. And... It just goes to show right now that two of the strongest scenes in the American death metal underground are the Bay and the Pacific Northwest. And coming out of Portland, Oregon, we have fucking torture rack with barbaric persecution. Coming off their uh, 2013 demo with this 2015 release on Parasitic Records. Fuck. Yes! This is just some more disgustingly crushing death metal from Oregon. I fucking love the scene they have out there. It's insane. Like, absolutely. And with members of Witch Vomit, Dagger Lust, Puss Rot, and the Necro Drunks, yeah, you're gonna be getting some awesome, awesome tunes here on Torture Rack's debut full length barbaric per persecution and just look at that artwork alone it's fucking sick by matthew hopkins witch finder awesome awesome stuff i really dig this style artwork and they have some of the best promo pictures next to wear goat <laughs> they thank weapons naked women and a bunch of other metal things it's pretty sick I love that picture. Torture Rack's amazing though, seriously. It's some catchy, yet brutal, filthy death metal. Now how is that possible? I have no idea, but Pierce, Tony, Seth, and JG on bass and execution commands kill it on here. And they have one of my favorite thank you lists ever. It's just parasitic, head split, Asperia, Mexican cuisine, female nudity, and weapons. Like, that's fucking awesome. But this is seriously awesome, awesome death metal. If you're a fan of, like, Infester, early Chris Barnes, our Cannibal Corpse, hell, even some, like, early Broken Hope and a lot of other New York death metal bands kind of have some influence over Torture Rack's fucking death metal assault. And it's great though, like, cause there's parts on here that are equally as catchy as they are crushing. And that's awesome, like, and there's also parts where it even sounds like Dead Congregation, but with like, let's say Dead Congregation had like some punk, like, ethics, and they like just threw them into a song, like, it's pretty sick, like, there's definitely some punk rock elements, like, hidden within all the fucking death metal brutality, and I, I just love that. It, I just think it works, and especially on a record like Barbaric Persecution, with these tracks, like, Open Casket, Funeral Puker, 
it really does sound like a punk rock dead congregation. It's awesome. And coming with, like I said, you have members from Witch Vomit. I come to expect stuff like that from those dudes. Because with their own project, Witch Vomit, I mean, I, I feel like they do that just filthy, punky death metal style so well. And Torture Rack just will decimate you. Like, as raw and filthy as some of the riffs may be, like, you're gonna be humming them. Like, seriously, it's like how the Bleeding by Cannibal Corpse is like death metal with hooks. This is kind of a catchy release. And again, that's not a bad thing to be like humming some fucking riff that you like off this record. It's fucking sick, actually. Like, it's vicious <laughs> but at the same time it has that like sensibility to where you're like mm -hmm. it's fucking cool like it's awesome but like it's just disgustingly crushing fucking death metal old school brutal and just fucking kick ass like it's a total gem from the northwest and just a total death metal gem in general and I, I fucking love it. I loved it. This is one of those bands, the first time I listened, I just instantly was like, how can I get a copy and where? It's just completely up my death metal alley. Like, it's so fucking good. Just plain black vinyl, Parasitic Records, and Head Split did the tape. It's, it's so fucking good. Like, I, I really don't know what to say about it outside of how sick it sounds. Like, the production, amazing. The riffs, amazing. The drumming, amazing. The vocal delivery, fucking A. It's so good. Like, I just love it. Everything about this release is so good. I cannot wait for their new album to drop. Because this is just amazing. Barbaric Persecution. And I forget the name of their demo, but their demo is sick too. Um, oh fuck. It was a 2013 demo, it's like medieval something, but it's badass. And just look at the artwork again. It really kind of, you know, demonstrates again what's in these grooves. Just look at that. Filthy fucking artwork for some filthy fucking death metal. But the fact that it's catchy, I think, makes it, like, just something very, very awesome. And, like, you'll be, trust me, you'll be fucking fist bumping and you'll love this if you're a fan of death metal. Because, again, you have fans of death metal making death metal for other fans of death metal. So you're not getting any bullshit trying to get like signed to like a major label or anything you're getting you know what the fuck they wanted to do with torture rack like nobody was like hey you know you better add a break down here or we're deducting your pay fuck no it's just awesome like if you like being decimated by death metal but also have a fun time listening to it torture rack barbaric persecution is all for you like all you gotta do is read some of the, you know, the song titles again, and it's like, alright, it's not 100% serious, but at the same time, it's fucking awesome. Like, I, I love it. In Trail Intruder? That's, <laughs> that's seriously just such an awesome song title. Talent for Torture? Like, fuck yeah. Chamber of Morbility? It's just awesome stuff here. Beheaded for the, bud, the Bloodbath? Sentence to gang rapes a little edgy, but whatever. I mean, but it's still a sick track. But Coffin Breath, like, that just sounds like a band name. It's awesome. Same thing with like Open Casket Funeral Puker. Like, what a sick title. And what a sick song on here. Like, seriously. I really like when death metal bands add other, like, genres to, like, their already awesome, like, formula. Because on here, you know, there's a lot of, like, punk-driven elements, and I love it. I think it works perfectly with Torture Rack's just style of death metal. And, which is crushing old school to the fucking bone, and just 
heavy as fuck. It was the sound like a garbage truck dropped off the Empire State Building. And when they finally pulled the body from the twisted, burning wreck, it looked like this. <laughs> but now, seriously, torture rack, barbaric persecution on parasitic records and head split records. So good. 10 out of 10, grade A death metal. It's my shit. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you, but if you're a fan of early Chris Barnes, Era Cannibal Corpse, already you have something to like about this album. Like, seriously. Torture Chamber with Barbaric Persecution. Amazing, amazing debut full length. Cannot wait for the next one, seriously. And the demo is Medieval Mutilation from 2013. And this was released in 2015 on vinyl through Parasitic Records and Head Split did the cassette release. So definitely get into Torture Rack and if you're going to Kill Town Death Fest, do not miss this fucking band set because you will regret it if you do. But I'm sure if you're going to Kill Town Death Fest, you already have this album. And you already fucking know how good it is, and I'm telling you nothing new whatsoever. But seriously, this is some truly brutal old school death metal, and I fucking love it. It's everything I like about the genre. It's fun, and yeah. Awesome artwork, just great stuff, sounds great, looks great. Parasitic Records always do a good job with their vinyl releases, and this is no different. So, if you're into some awesome death metal, I cannot recommend Torture Rack enough. So fucking good. Lex Luger would be pretty stoked on Torture Rack, I hope. Or he might try and fight them, but who knows. Lex Luger's pretty shot out, while these guys seem to have it together. And they also have a battle axe, so I wouldn't want to fuck with them. But I wouldn't want to fuck with Le I wouldn't want to fuck with Lex Luger either. He did body slam Yokozuna, if you guys re remember back in the day. But if you're a fan of death metal and you like your death metal old school, heavy and just awesome, Torture Act, Barbaric Persecution has you fucking covered. Parasitic Records, Head Split as well awesome awesome stuff and we have been blasting probably what's going to end up being the album of the year for 2018 mournful congregation the incubus of karma right now I, besides the new dequisitor which i love i cannot think of a better album than this like it's just completely amazing like it puts you in this just sonic trance and it's amazing. Like, if you thought Bell Witch Mirror Reaper was sick, I, I think this like kicks Bell Witch's ass, honestly. It's just a more interesting listen, honestly. And yeah, great stuff from Mournful Congregation available from Osmos and 20 Bucks Spin. But as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Have a good satanic Sunday and hills.